Good morning. I just wanted to bring to you another chapel from Mr. Daniel. This week we are going to learn about Jonah and the whale. So let's go ahead and watch the video that Mr. Daniel sent us to watch, all right? Are you ready? I'm ready. I love this story. It's nice and big for you. Okay. Heroes of the Bible, Jonah. This is Jonah. Uh -huh. Jonah was a prophet. That means it was his job to tell people what God told him to say. Yep. One day, God told Jonah to go to Nineveh because the people of Nineveh were doing bad things. Uh... But instead, Jonah ran away. Where are you, please? And went to the port to board a ship going the other way. He was hoping to get away from God. Oh he sailed for a place called Tarshish. While he was at sea, God sent a great and powerful wind over the sea that caused a storm that seemed like it would break the ship apart. Fearing for their lives, the sailors tried everything they could think of to save the ship. Meanwhile, Jonah was sound asleep, so the captain went down and said, How can you sleep at a time like this? Get up and pray to your God. Maybe he will help us. Then the crew figured out that Jonah was the reason for the storm. And they asked him, Who are you? Why is this happening to us? Jonah told them who he was and that he worshipped the one true God who made the sea. Then he told the sailors to throw him in the sea so the storm would stop. No, why? The sailors still tried to escape the storm, but it was no use. Uh... So they asked God for forgiveness and threw Jonah into the sea. The storm stopped at once. Oh! The sailors were amazed at God's power and they vowed to serve him. Now God sent a great fish to swallow Jonah. Oh, uh, great. And Jonah was inside the fish for three days and nights. Jonah prayed to God from inside the fish, and God ordered the fish to spit Jonah out. Ugh, yuck. God told Jonah again to go to the city of Nineveh to tell them what God had said about them. I get it, I get it. This time, Jonah obeyed God and went to Nineveh to deliver God's message. The people of Nineveh stopped doing bad things and turned to God. They were saved because they listened to the message that God had given Jonah. Woohoo! Isn't that great? They were saved because they heard God's message. Let's go ahead and catch up with Mr. Daniel and see what he thinks about that. Hi everybody, this is my dog, Zoe. I love Zoe so much. It's my job as her owner, as her, as her dad, to make sure she's happy, healthy, safe, that she has food, she has water. That's my job. And I wanna make sure she's safe at all times. It's kinda like the way God wants us to be safe at all times and wants the best for us. So just like the way that he was telling Jonah that he needed to go to Nevna, he wanted him to be safe. And what ended up happening? He was on the boat, and then what happened to the boat? It sank. But God still saved him by getting a big fish to swallow him up. And then eventually he took him to the place he needed to go. Now, God wants good things for us. He doesn't want us to be unsafe. He doesn't want us to be unhappy. So we have to do our jobs to listen to God no matter what. And how we do this by listening to our mommies and our daddies. Mm -hmm. So will you do that right now? Will you go ahead and listen to your mommy and your daddy and what they're saying? Because they're trying to keep you safe and they're trying to make you happy. Bye friends, I'll see you next time. Bye Mr. Daniel, thank you for telling us that. All right, my friends, we are gonna go ahead and sing our goodbye song. Oh, let's pray first, okay? Let's say, dear God, Thank you for my family. Thank you.
for always keeping me safe. And thank you for bringing people like Jonah to tell us your stories, God. Amen. Okay, let's sing our song. Go now in peace. Go now in peace. May the love of God surround you everywhere, everywhere you may go. All right, boys and girls, go have a beautiful day. And remember that God loves you and so do we. Bye.